Yes, I, I, I really believe that, that, you know, there's always been recreational drugs around and, yeah. and you know, but this last 10, 12 years, whatever, is just, it's, it's really, really put a, put a dent of what you true. want to say. It, it's, 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 it's impacted a whole generation. It has. Absolutely. It has. A whole it's, generation. It's changed of kids. our world. Yeah. It is. I mean, between yeah. kids between like, like 16 to, to, I mean, to 30, I yeah. guess, right in that. And of course, there's older yeah. people that get yeah. addicted to these things too. But, so you know, prevalent it is in huge. that generation. What's going on yeah. in West yeah. Virginia and everywhere else is yeah. just it's, it's a disaster. Was that something you feared as parents as they were going through that, that, that they would die from? You know, from I addiction? said to David, my son, attended my lectures with his, his mm -hmm. girlfriend. She was a yeah. social worker. And I said, mm -hmm. I said, David, I'm seeing more and more bereaved parents mm -hmm. who yeah. were showing up, you know, because their child died of an overdose. Mm -hmm. Promise me that is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And he goes, Dad, I promise you, yeah. it's not going to happen. I can to. handle it. Yeah. And I'm telling you, they can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can't handle it. And one of our first reactions is to blame them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, these drugs are so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. And some pharmaceutical companies have put profit mm -hmm. yeah. you know, before mm -hmm. our kids. Yeah. And our kids are dying yeah. from this. Mm -hmm.